we'll go ahead and hop in. And this one, I don't think he's actually going to be moving personally, but there's been reports that Russell Wilson is apparently showing a lot of frustrations with the team. Says he wants to stay, but kind of wants to be in the control of more of the player personnel or be in the conversations. Do you think it's warranted criticism? And also, is there any trade possibilities? No, because you trading them. I heard just thirty nine million. Then your dead cap. He's not going anywhere. But if Russell Wilson wants what he wants, well, how about you extend three years, take a big pay cut, so I can actually give you what you need. Right. Otherwise, sit there, shut up, and be the quarterback and keep getting sacked. <laughs> Don't come complaining to me because you didn't want to take a pay cut. Right. You want all this money. But then you want to whine and cry that you don't have nothing. It's a reason why you don't have nothing. We don't have nothing to give anyone so they can come here. So what he needs to do is either shut up or take a pay cut or work with the um, Seahawks on a, on a trade where somebody else can possibly restructure him or he can be restructured beforehand. Mm-hmm. So that way when they trade him, it won't mm-hmm. count against their dead money that much. But as far as him getting traded, no. Because thirty nine million that didn't get dead cap, they like no. You just want to sit here and just be mad. And if you do ask for a trade, we don't care. What you gonna say? I won't play. Cool. Sit on the bench. We gonna figure out a just sit there. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even do that. I will make him play. For sure. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I wouldn't make him play. You want something on the bench? You're not getting none of your money. Thank you for your money. Be putting that into the cap. <laughs> That's helping out cap out, but he's not I, going anywhere. I will say the criticism was warranted because apparently he's on pace. To right now, Brett Favre is the most sacked quarterback of all time. He's apparently on pace to destroy that. From right now, I think the record's like five hundred and something sacks. And if he keeps on pace, he'd be at eight hundred something sacks during the same period of time. So it's warranted. But is the criticism? All on the team. Now I don't. I agree with you, which I made a video on earlier this week. That you really can't complain too much when you're taking 17, 18 percent of the cap hit. I mean, that's just that's way too much money. No quarterback has ever won a Super Bowl with that much of a cap hit. The highest was uh, Steve Young well, with thirteen percent. It's only one player that I would not care to have that amount of money, and that's Patrick freaking Mahomes. Because the dude is another – he's from another planet. Right. It's Patrick Mahomes and then it's all the other QBs, all the other good QBs. But he's from another planet. For $40 million and you crying that you don't got no help. I mean, you, do you, re- you do realize that offensive linemen cost money. <laughs> a lot of it. Right. So Not to mention they, they're good enough where they get a good record. So it's hard to get that great left tackle or great uh, center or whatever because they're going to go top 15. You're always picking in the top – or, you know, back at pick 28 or 26, which is a large part to do, due to Russell Wilson. He's fantastic. I said he's a top three quarterback in the league. But it's just – it's it's not all on you or on the, the team, I should say, when you take up such a huge percentage of exactly. the cap. Russell Wilson getting sacked five to seven times a game. Also, to answer uh, both of your questions, James, yes, I heard about the car situation. We got that on the list. We're going to go into that. And I heard about the Heineke news. We have that on the list as well. So we will be discussing those eventually. But, um, yeah, Son says the Seahawks really need to fix the O-line. They do. They need to fix it. I There's no doubt about it. It just makes it a whole lot harder when you have a ton. But they also have to fix that defense. I mean, they have Bobby Wagner and they have Jamal Adams. You got to fix one. You're not fixing both. Which you ain't got sucks. the money. I agree. So Wilson he's screwed. Is not going to cut his contract. These QBs don't really want to win. Well, well, we'll if you don't want to cut your contract, sit there, shut up, and stop complaining. Right. Simple as that. I completely agree with that, though, because literally, I went through and the highest percentage against the cap was Steve Young at thirteen point oh, uh, thirteen point oh eight percent. Russell Wilson is slated to be like a seventeen percent cap hit, like seventeen and a half. Uh, there's other people like I mean Kirk Cousins is way overpaid Matt Stafford way overpaid um, and it's also not just the quarterback's position I mean if you look at like uh, JJ Watt's contract was really big Aaron Donald's is killing the Rams I mean, in a lot of ways 
those are once in a lifetime generations of players. Right, but at the you same time, you gotta have a choice. team. Khalil I mean, Mack. I mean, Khalil Mack, you traded two firsts and you paid him a ton of money. And it's like, okay, and you wonder why the Bears don't have a good offense. Like, oh wait, I have freaking 150 million tied up into my defense. I made up that number, but their defense is super paid. Well, their offense is not nearly as paid. Nick Foles was literally going to be a six million dollar cap hit this year, like six and a half million, as their That's starting quarterback. Right? Maybe they should stay where they are. All right.